Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Millennium Falcon where we're going to be looking at what comes in issue 98. Now we're not going to look at everything that comes in issue 98. All the add-on stuff from this issue and issue 99 will be thrown up in a midweek video uh, coming up in the next week. Um, I'm doing that because there are people out there who don't like my add-on videos. They are quite lengthy and some people don't need them. For those people that do, that will be coming up in the middle of the week. Uh, but this time we're going to primarily be focusing on the landing gear. So um, let's get started by looking at what comes in issue 98. So in issue 98, we have more add-ons, which I'm going to look at uh, next time, as I've already explained. We also get the final two of the um, components that make up the landing gear some more landing gear components uh, we also get these parts here now you would have seen these before when we did the bottom of the falcon they clip together something like, like that and uh, will be put into the top um, engine cover as well so we'll look at those next time we also get these two clips now these two clips attached uh, attach to the mandibles and to the main body of the falcon um, so the mandible will come out here and you clip that in place and clip this one in place just to kind of give that extra security for the mandibles so that they don't bend like that so that they are kept uh, in place and I'm going to be weathering them up and attaching them first so I'm just going to go and do that now and here are these clips all weathered up looking very nice indeed uh, I've only done slight weathering because um, I realized that we've got lots of holes in them and in issue 99 we are going to get extra parts to add to these clips um, so leave them uh, for the time being till we get to issue 99 the add-on video and um, we'll look at those um, at that point so uh, the next thing I'm going to do in this video is look at the landing gear um, I'm going to show you how to do one of the small landing gears and then the same method can be applied for all of them. So to start with, I'm going to take all the parts out of the sprue. Okay, so here are all the parts of the landing leg all taken apart. And to start off with, you need this part here. And you also need this part here and this part here, just like that. So what you do is you get uh, this part here. It's got a longer leg here. Let's change focus. Oops. Okay, it's got a longer leg here, which fits very nicely. If I can get this right. Sorry, it's got a shorter leg here, and that fits into there like that. And then you get the other part, and it will go around like that with a little drop of glue. So you just get your glue. Just put some on the pegs and on the sides like that. And just pop that on there like that and at this point is uh, where I'd file away the excess sprue part to give it a bit of uniformity like so and on this side as well just like that okay so then you get uh, the main um, attachment uh, to the Falcon it'll be attached like that into the landing gear hole and you um, get your glue and you just put a little bit of glue in the center hole here and on the outside of the two holes like that and you hold the place like that you have the longer piece there which goes into that hole like that there we go now for added security they've given you some uh, they've given you a screw uh, to make it nice and secure because of course it will be supporting the Falcon so you just screw it in like this do, 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 do. there we go my screwdriver is knackered but it is going in and just a little bit more so it looks like that. So you've got the screw in there holding this piece up like that. So the next thing you do is you get this piece here, which is quite a unique looking piece. I don't think we've seen a piece quite like that on the Falcon so far. You just glue the inner edge and it goes in a certain way, kind of oblongy like that. 
and that sits in place like that. Sort of. It's a little bit loose, but when the glue sets, that will be more stable. Um, now, the next parts are these parts here. I'm not going to attempt them on camera because they are fiddly, but you've got one with a notch in the center that attaches to that little groove there like that and goes up like that. And then this one has no notch and is slightly shorter and attaches into this groove like that and goes out like that in a shallower angle. So I'm just going to go away and glue those pieces in. So it will look something like that. This is slightly too much of that angle, but I'll sort that out in just a moment. The next step uh, is these three pieces here. It's also an awful TV show. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, we get this piece here and we get the glue back and we just glue the inside part just like that and attach it here like that. Oops, this way. So it goes on there like that. And then you get this pit here, which is kind of the foot of the landing gear. Very nicely detailed there as well. Have a look at that in just a moment. Put glue on all the edges. And then the flat bit goes at this side here like that. And attaches there. Just miss some sprue bit. There we go. So yeah, let's look at that detail. Loving that. Loving those suction cups. Very, very nice. I'm going to have to make sure that they stand out when I paint it. Okay, so uh, we've got this attachment hole here and this attachment hole here. They are for this bit and this bit. Um, so the shallower one goes on this side here. So flip this around like that. And you just push it on like that and just Gently move the little legs so that it fits the holes. This one's fit okay, but this one hasn't. So let's just push the pull. Oh, it's just come off. Okay, so I'm just going to reattach that. Bear with me. And when it's all done, it will look like this. Looking very, very nice indeed. I've actually already gone ahead and done another one. So that is what you... Um, that is what it looks like when it's all done. Um, very, very nice. And they are very sturdy. But yeah, very, very happy with how they look. They're going to look fantastic uh, when weathered. But before I weather them, I need to do the rest of them. So I'm just going to go away and do that now. And here are the landing legs all finished and all weathered up. So I'm just going to have a look at this one here. All I've done really is added a load of dirt using the weathering powder by Humbrol. Um, I've added absolute load of it because landing gear they're going to get dirty aren't they especially when they land on Tatooine and stuff like that so that is what I've done I am going to add some black to the suction cups when the rest of the paint has dried um, so um, just for I know you're not going to see it because they are going to be the Falcon is going to be on the landing legs but just for my own just because I want to basically so um, there's only one more thing left to do with all this and that is attach it to the Falcon so let's go ahead oops don't lock the camera let's go ahead and do that now and so at the end of this video, we're going to use the filming technique I used at the start of this series as a bit of a nostalgia trip to have a really good look at this landing gear all installed. So we've got the double one here. Oh, and I probably should explain that the double landing gear goes at the back of the Falcon, like you see here, and the single ones go at the front in this position here. So that is how it's all installed. And because it's all installed, of course, you now get the lights shining. Here we have the uh, lights that came with the kit as part of the issues. And also we get Holland's lighting kits, uh, lights light shining as well. All in all, looking fantastic. Really, really like how this came out. All the landing gear works fantastically. Um, I will be displaying my Falcon with the landing gear when it's in the table propped up um, because I really want the lights to shine. Um, you don't have to do that, of course. There are lots of different ways you can um, display your Falcon, especially if you are um, subscribed. You can get the... Uh, the wall mount, you will get the wall mount uh, coming through soon. So you can display it in various different kind of dynamic flying poses and things like that. But let me know in the comments below how you're going to display your Falcon. Are you going to display it with the landing gear up or down? 
Or are you going to use those rubber tubes that we no longer need, really? But are you going to keep them and display it with that? I don't know why you would. But some people might. They might paint them black so it's like a starry scene. I don't know. Let me know down below well, how you're going to display your falcon because we are getting to that stage of displaying it because there'll be nothing else to do. There is more stuff to do, though. Lots and lots of add-ons. So I hope you will join me midweek for that video where I'll be uh, showing you the rest of the add-ons to put on that engine cover. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye.